Welcome to the Long Road with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to do a fill-in haul for our groceries today. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting right here with Pringles. They're $1.96 each can. This is maybe $2.38. I'll look in just a second. Uh, we only, we forgot uh, one of our phones at home, so we're doing everything with one phone. So that means like recording and switching and checking prices and, and checking the grocery list and all on one phone means I keep having to switch back and forth through a bunch of stuff. So I'll put the price right here if it's not two thirty eight. And then it looks like the egg prices have gone down. They were only three dollars and twenty seven cents instead of it was like four dollars and forty eight cents or something last week for eighteen count. Okay, one pack of bread. It says ninety three cents. It is not ninety three cents. It's one dollar. And then this uh, was not two thirty eight. It's two fifty eight. We picked up this uh, for a recipe that we had. We could we couldn't find it last week. We thought we would get it somewhere else, and we didn't find what we were looking for at Aldi or Sam's Club um, because we like Andouille sausage. We could have gotten like regular basic smoked sausage. But anyway, this is three dollars and ninety four cents. And uh, I'll put a little B roll footage because as you can see dollar and fifty cents still on the marker and that makes probably about two and a half months at this point that they have not updated their prices because it's still scanning as a dollar and 78 cents and we grabbed our son one french bread a dollar and 47 cents we got one thing of baby spinach three dollars and 13 cents the potatoes were dollar forty four per pound dollar forty four per pound which is crazy higher than it was last week by like or two weeks ago by a couple of, wait, what, maybe? 36 cents. 36 cents, okay. And then three sweet potatoes. 90, 98 cents per pound. Which is the same price as it's been being, 98 cents per pound. We also got one green bell pepper, uh, 72 cents each. Some broccoli, we're getting it for two different recipes. It's $1.87 per pound. All right, so there's our Walmart fill-in haul for this week. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, and uh, right here, you'll see what our total was. Um, also, we're going to include, if you saw last Friday's video, we did a stock up haul from Sam's Club. Um, we had money left in our grocery budget um, for uh, at the end of the month, and we decided to just use the money from our grocery budget to, to do the stock up haul from Sam's Club. So we're gonna include that as well. So this will be really what we have left over at the end of the month right there. Yep. And that was out of a budget of $600 for three people. All right, let's go ahead and go to the meal plan for the week. We're gonna start, well, we have some leftovers because we made, um, we finally made our crock pot lasagna and uh, we're gonna start with some leftovers there. Yep, and then we're gonna do chicken and broccoli stir fry. Uh, yes, and if you see a little button that says recipe alert, that means that we have actually shown that on the channel before. And you can find it on the recipe playlist. If you do not see that and you'd like to for us to show you how we made it, uh, we'll be glad to do that. Sometimes it's even recipes that we've never made before. We call them uh, try something news. Um, and uh, so we never even know when we start cooking it if it's actually going to be a success or fail. Yep. So if you'd like to see those, be sure to uh, vote for them down in the comments below. Um, and, you know, if you want, you can always ask for one of the other ones because, and we'll take it into consideration because there were some that we made back long time ago that uh, when we lived in a different town home and it was really like a cave. Yeah. <laughs> so it was dark. A lot of our video quality was dark, so we consider redoing some. So if if, if you want us to, let us know. Sure. Uh, anyway, so then the next day we have taco casserole, which, by the way, is a keto version. We are not keto, but um, it's a pretty good recipe. Yeah. Not a you you don't have to be on a diet to do a recipe. Just if it sounds good to you, do That's it. That's right. And then we're going to do a sausage and rice skillet. That's right, and uh, then we're gonna have some uh, cheeseburgers. And then we're gonna pull some pulled pork out of the freezer, have that one night. 
That's right. Uh, we show, uh, we do that like we'll get a big one and then cook it in a slow cooker and then divide it into packs and then just pull it out of the pack, the, one of the packs out of the freezer every few weeks, you know, until we're out again and then we do it again. So uh, that's just one of the packs we'll pull out and we'll eat on that. Um, anyway, and then we'll have a homemade pizza night. And then we're going to do a spatchcock chicken. And that'll end our meal plan for that two weeks and actually finishes off our um, August meal plan. All right, so drop us a comment below and let us know what you'd like to vote on for recipe of the week. If you have a recipe you'd like us to try, uh, we're always looking for new recipes to try as well. So if you have yep. one of those, let us know. Um, and then uh, we can get the we can get the deets from you after that. Mm -hmm. um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes in between. You kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there. But with that said, that's going to do it today for The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.